Hi there, my name is Christian Eschbach, and welcome to another episode of Confessions of a Domestic Engineer, or as I like to call it, Code. And we're getting into some hot stuff today. Alright everyone, so what you are going to be watching in just a moment, get ready, here we go, me experimenting in the kitchen, oh yeah, I decided I'm just going to screw around in the kitchen and see what I can come up with. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, the gardening videos specifically, you've seen that I'm growing kale. Kale is a cabbage, part of the cabbage family, uh, for leafy greens. So I decided I'm going to make some variation of a cabbage roll using kale. Kale rolls! I made kale rolls! I decided to make kale rolls for the very first time. I had no clue what I was doing. I was experimenting with this, and I needed to use up some stuff in the house. So, you know what? Let's get into this. And the very first thing we're going to start with is me out in the garden harvesting fresh kale. 100% fresh garden kale. Now, you're not going to hear any sounds going on throughout this process. Uh, that That's a double-edged sword. And the reason why is, like right now with the kale, all you'd hear, honestly, here in the background is my central air unit blowing. You know, big, loud fan. Turbine. You know, so it wasn't worth doing that. And here, now, you're going to miss out. You don't get to hear the cool shh, shh of me cutting on the cutting board. It happens. What are you going to do? Not a big deal. You're not really missing anything. This is just so you can see me cutting the chicken. And as you can see, I'm not even a fast with the knife. I do it quickly, and you got to watch your fingers. If you do not cut meat regularly, don't try and go this fast either. Take your time. Go through it. I'm cutting at a speed that I'm comfortable with, and that's what you have to do. Cut at a speed that you're comfortable with. Don't rush through it. Watch your fingers. Always keep your fingers back. Always keep them distanced. You don't want them sliding under the blades. That hurts. You get the owie. Owies are not nice. So, yeah. Continuing on here. We're just cutting along. and uh, This is just regular chicken. It's a pack of chicken. Um, I had to use up this chicken. Uh, th this was the last possible day before the chicken went bad. Um, six people in my house... Four different groups cooking food. You know, you got me and Tracy, you got Drew, Sean, and then Ashley. I mean, not Ashley, sorry. Ryan and Gypsy. Um, sorry, I said Ashley. That's my daughter. Uh, she doesn't live here. I was just messaging with her a moment ago, so that's why I've got her on my head. Or on my brain, I mean. Um, so anyways, uh, because of that, sometimes meat gets mixed up in there, and I lose track of what's what. And uh, yeah, this, this one got a little lost in the shuffle, so I quickly took care of it. Um, here we go. Light it up. Whoosh. I love the sound of... I, I wish you, I would have had the sound there, but once again... And the reason why there's no sound in this part is when I cook, I got music playing in the background. And if you're one of my regular viewers, it's a shame you can't hear the music playing in the background because I was actually listening to Accept Balls to the Wall while I was doing all this. Ooh, look at that fast, quick seasoning. Ooh, and then putting the chicken in. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, if you're one of my review watchers, Accept Balls to the Wall is what I was listening to while I was cooking all this. Um... I like to listen to music while I cook. You gotta have music going, man. It keeps you upbeat, keeps you pumping. Uh, yes, I am well aware that these pants do nothing for my ass, or these shorts do nothing for my ass. These are back from when I'm heavy. I was heavy, big boy. I think these are size 40, and I'm currently a 34, 36, depending on the make. Um, and those are not stretchy jeans. I wear stretchy jeans now, so they're more form-fitting. Uh, <laughs> Now, the reason why I did the split screen is I wanted you to see the meat cooking on the oven the entire time. 
Uh, it took approximately 18 minutes from the time I started the camera to the time I stopped the camera with cooking the chicken. This is what you can be doing, the cutting up the veggies and stuff. And as you can see, I'm being very careful with my fingers. But the cutting up the veggies and that, the reason why I'm showing it like this is so you can see what you can be doing while the chicken's cooking, you know. You don't have to constantly have an eye on it, but you have to remember to go back and check on it. And the reason I cook it with the lid on is to help cook it through all the way faster because I use slightly larger chunks. Um, and as you can see in the background, uh, because I only had the one camera at the time, I had to do everything separately. So the chicken was actually cooked and then I cut off all the veggies and then I did all that. You can cut the veggies up while the chicken's cooking. I, on the other hand, was washing dishes and cleaning up the kitchen while it was cooking. That way Tracy didn't have to do as much cleaning later on. Um, if you watch a lot of my videos and you watch when I'm using peppers, a lot of the time I'm using orange and yellow peppers or red. I don't use green too often. The reason for the colored peppers is they're sweeter. And that way I don't have to add any type of sugar or anything like that to my food when I'm cooking and I cook peppers into it. And I usually also buy them in four packs. And that's how they're usually economically the most affordable. Uh, you get a four pack of multicolor peppers. They don't have green. It's usually red, orange, and yellow. Lately, it's been a lot of orange and yellow, not as many red, like maybe one red, and I use that for a different meal. And, you know, if you look in the corner, you can see me going at the chicken there, because like I said, you do have to check on it. You do got to mix it around. I love watching the flames dance under there. My absolute favorite thing, oh my lord, when me and Tracy bought this house, I absolutely love absolutely love and adored the fact that there was already a gas stove here now the gas stove that was here it was an older gas stove nobody in the house had ever used gas aside from me and i wanted everybody to be comfortable so when the opportunity came to purchase appliances the stove was one of the most important things to me and we got a new stove almost right away um and the new gas stove, I love it. And it, it's really funny because everybody was really hesitant at first. There was. There was some real hesitancy. Even Sean's finally cooking on it now. You know, he's getting the hang of it. It's taken him a little while. But, you know, Sean's going from never cooking to just starting to cook. So it's understandable. Uh, if you go and watch the Chris Joe Bob episodes, we actually play it up as part of the Robert Pye's Mitty character that Robert Pye's Mitty can't cook. That was the one thing that was actually reflective of Sean was the not being able to cook, which is why we decided to do cooking episodes that way. So if you like what you watch here, head on over to Chris Joe Bob. There's actually cooking episodes in Chris Chris Joe Bob. Uh, a little bit humorous, long drawn out sometimes, but I really enjoyed them, you know. So you, go, you should go check out the Chris Joe Bob episodes for that, even though I usually like to keep us separate. Links are below, um, or at least a link is below. And here you got to rinse the rice, okay? You have to rinse the rice, and that's what I'm doing. I'm giving it, you know, fill it up in the container, give it a good shake, give it. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but I measured out two cups to go in there. And I didn't mention it, the seasoning that I used for the chicken in this particular video was a, uh, a three pepper medley, I believe it was called, or something like that. I like to buy the mix seasonings, they, they work really well. Uh, drain the rice also, as we're, while we're going on here. But yeah, I like the mix seasonings, they're great to work with. Montreal steak seasoning is one of my favorite, and the Montreal chicken spice is really good. This one I used a pepper medley, I remember that, I don't remember it's three, but it's pepper medley. Uh, so once you're done draining the rice, you should always let your rice soak before you actually cook with it, believe it or not. Most of it will say let it soak for about ten minutes first. This is basmati rice also, if anybody's interested. Um, uh, I, I like basmati. It's really good. I like all rices. I actually avoid regular white rice. Now, I'm trying to keep my hand over the label on the juice container so you can't see it. And it's tomato juice. Um, it is not one that sounds like a car engine. It is a different brand. <laughs> uh, I use four cups in the bottom what you can see is I'm putting it in, uh, 
it's funny, I try and hide certain labels not to give free advertising that you can see other labels like the pot that I'm using in the background. I love my Instapot. I don't like to give free advertising, but I'm a big fan of Instapot. And if Instapot wants to, uh, you know, throw some money my way for advertising, I'll advertise for them. You know, why not? I'll do cooking episodes specifically featuring their product for money. I'll show myself I like their product. Why not? All right, uh, here's me after like 10 minutes of soaking the rice, draining it again. I wanted to give a cool shot this time, so I actually placed the camera underneath just so you can see it draining and how I do it. I wanted you to see how I use the container, and I just pull the edge back. And because of the way the lip works and it hooks and goes on, I find that these particular containers work great for rice, as well as food storage. Um... This is done slightly out of sequence, and you'll see a little bit later. But this is, once again, I'm trying to show everything you can be doing while you're cooking the chicken. And yes, this is the stuff you can be doing. Now, this is why I say it's out of sequence, because there's the chicken in the bowl. <laughs> but you're about to watch me start throwing handfuls. There you go. Hey, look at that. I'm throwing handfuls of mushrooms into the bowl now. Well, I'm still cooking the chicken, but the chicken's in the bowl. Ooh, the wonders of editing. <laughs> Once again, I was trying to show stuff you could be doing while you're cooking the chicken. <laughs> but I could only do certain things in certain sequence, you know. Um, believe it or not, when you watch the camera turn off for the chicken on the stove, then that's when I actually started cutting up the, uh, the peppers and I started filming everything else. I had to film it one at a time. I've got multiple cameras. I just didn't have them all with me to do it all, and I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, and I wanted to do it one camera at a time just to make my life easy while I was doing it, all right? So, yeah, there we go. Turned it off, put it to the side. Now, here we go, ratting the chicken into the bowl. Man, editing here. Whoo, someone, continuity. Not winning an Oscar for editing on this. All right. So, here we go. You put the rice inside one of the kale leaves. I was using three to four scoops, depending on... Uh, I think most of them I did four. And uh, got this going here. I'm using my hands. I like to use my hands when I'm working with the food. I wash my hands nonstop. And when I wash my hands nonstop, I'm using the dish soap. So I'm using the same stuff that I use to clean everything anyways. You know, and I keep my no my fingers out of my nose and out of my mouth and out of my ass. And if I do, you know, if I pick up food and put it in my mouth, guess what? I wash my hands right away because that is what you're supposed to do. So, you know, I load it up. I make it look like I'm loading it up really nice and as pretty as possible. I try and balance it out as much as possible. You know, you put the one leaf there. Then I come, I slide the other one underneath. This wrapping, this this was a chore. Oh, man, this, this was a chore. And... I'm also going to, once again, say clever editing, because this was actually the second one I made. Yeah. I've got footage of the first one I tried making. Now, here's where I have to say, I have never made a cabbage roll in my life. Cabbage, roll, cabbage leaves, regular cabbage leaves, are also round, so you can kind of bend them the one way and then roll them the other. These don't work that way. You try bending it one way and then the other and then roll it, man... If you're making a stogie, it might work. It's not working for these rolls, okay? It did not work well. I, I'm, I'm sure you can see the work that I'm going through. And at this point, you're now watching it fast forward as I make the rest of them. And I'm going to pick some clever Howling Odyssey music to go on in the background here to go with this. I, I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. But I just wanted you to see how I kept going all the way through and I made all of them. The only one you do not see at this point... Oh, and this is at double speed, by the way. The footage you're watching now. The first one was at regular speed. This is at double speed. And um, th this part's going to be a little bit longer. I do apologize, which is why I'm going to put in the pretty music. And uh, you can just watch away here. You know, I just wanted to show you, you know, putting everything into there trying to do it step by step and yes you will get to see me trying to make the first one as I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to do these damn things. I got better as they went on. I did. I got much better. As you can see that's the third one there. That one went in real easy. You know it, it just became this thing. This three le leaf system. Fill the center one. You know take the smaller out of three leaves. Fill the smaller one. Then rest it on top of one. Kind of loop it underneath and fold and roll and put it in as fast as possible before it fell apart. 
once they cook and they come out, they come out great. They come out actually really easy. They fall apart a little bit as they come out, like a regular cabbage roll would too, okay? Um, but they come out real nice and easy, you know? Um, and, and you might think it might fall apart because it's three leaves. No, they cook into each other. It's, it's good. It's really good. You'll see. You'll see. Enjoy some music. I'm going to take this moment to uh, enjoy other things you can grow. Uh, what you're seeing here as I'm doing this is me just taking the leftover stuff and dumping it on the top. I didn't want to go out and get any more uh, kale leaves and I didn't want to roll any more of them. I just wanted to kind of be over and done with because six of them was more than enough for me and Tracy. So I dumped the rest on the top just, you know, because really the insides of cabbage rolls is the best part anyways, right? And then I take the rest of the uh, tomato juice and I dump that on the top. It, uh, and then, you know, here's me turning everything on. I just hit the rice button. The, I, that's all I do with the, uh, the Instant Pot. I just put the stuff in, I hit the rice button, hit the thing, and then it goes into auto mode. This is at the end, afterwards. You can't see it great there. That's a picture I took of it from the top. That's how it looked after it's 12 minutes in the Instant Pot. And it was fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And now, once again, enjoy Howling Odyssey and watching me horribly, horribly botch up trying to make the very first one as I figure out how the hell to try and make this first one.
So yeah, that's that. That's it, man. Here we are at the end, and uh, those are kale rolls. My 100% created there on the spot recipe kale rolls. You know, I've got basmati rice, uh, two cups. You got a whole jar of tomato juice. I forget how big it is. I want to say they're like two liter jars. And pour four cups in the bottom. Pour the rest over the top at the end. You know, you fill them all. You know, got some uh, chicken in there that uh, was cooked using a pepper medley spice. You know, and chunks done up. Nice, tasty. Uh, sliced criminy mushrooms. I bought them sliced. I could have sliced them myself. Way wise works out the same. It doesn't matter. Freshly chopped up uh, peppers, red and uh, yellow. It's good food. Good food. You know, rolled up together. Comes out really nice. You wouldn't think so, but it, it came out beautifully. Tasted great. Oh, I look forward to making it with fresh tomatoes. I do. Anyways, everyone, uh, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you got some ideas to play with with the recipe, let me know. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um... Peace, love, take care.